Hello everyone. So today I will be going through one problem from Code Forces. So this this was the first time Code Forces was organizing a Division Four contest. So it was round six forty Division Four. So it was the problem C of that. So the problem states kth non divisible by n. So what does this exactly means? Let's go through it. So what what the problem says over here is. You are given two positive integers n and k. Print the kth positive integer that is non divisible by n. So the problem statement is pretty straightforward. What it says is if n is 3 and k is given 7, then we have to find the seventh term in a series of terms which is non divisible by given n, which is 3 in this case. So these are the series over here uh, which are not divisible by 3 1, 2, 4, 5, dot, dot, dot. And the seventh term of this series is 10. So we have to print 10. So this might seem like a very simple problem to one like the brute force way of solution would be going through all the uh, all the non divisible by n terms and uh, increasing a counter and find, uh, finding out that if the term is not divisible by 3 then and if the counter is 2 equal to k then we are printing it. But that would not be accepted over here because the constraints are very huge. The k and n both could be reach in worst case 10 to the power 9. So big O of n solution would not be accepted. So one solution could be of order of log n that could be uh, binary search. And how is binary search? Because the series of non-divisible by n terms will always be increasing and sorted in order. So we can do binary search over here. But the solution I am going to show you is order of one time. Like we will get constant time access. So let's see how we can do that. So let me pull up my uh, notepad and explain you. So I have written down some series over here. So what this exactly says. Notice one thing. We are dealing with n is equal to 3 over here. So let me write it down over here. n is equal to 3. So now we have to find all the terms which are non divisible by 3. So first of all, let me uh, walk you through all the terms which are divisible by 3. They are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and so on. So notice one thing. Every divisible by n term is leading n minus 1 non-divisible by n terms. Over here, the first divisible by 3 is 3. It has 2 n minus 1 exactly n minus 1 non divisible terms here also here also so this is the very important and first observation for this problem so then we will have this sort of segments over here 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 and these segments will be exactly of length n minus 1 so now we have to find out among these segments in which segment our desired answer is lying so for that we are going to divide 7 by n minus 2 n minus 1 and why is that so we have to find out the seventh term so we have to find out in which segment of these all segments our answer lies within so 7 by 2 and taking the floor value we get 3 so this exactly means after the three segments in the fourth segment we have our answer so now another problem comes each segment has n minus 1 value. So how come we know which value in that fourth segment is our answer? So for that we have to do one thing like we are skipping three segments, right? So which means what? In the third segment, there is also one value which is divisible by 3. So we have to check which is that value. So 3 into 3 that is 9. So after that immediate next value is the first starting value of our fourth segment. Notice this, right? So now, by this formula, which I have derived from observation, we can find out that which term we are required to print out. So here C is what? K minus Y. And what is Y over here? Y is N minus 1 into X. X is over here 3, 3 into 2, 6. So 6. So over here Y is 6. So K minus 1 y so 7 minus so this means what 7 minus 6 that is 1 so this one this one means 
the answer is the first term of the fourth segment so if we just look at it closely you can just try it on it and you see how this is working like first of all we are checking by doing the calculation of x that in after which segment our value lies and then we are calculating this y value this means what that n minus 1 into x this value after subtracting from the k value sorry this value after subtracting from k value we will find out that which exact position in the x plus 1th segment our answer lies within okay that makes sense right so after that we have to calculate this and we have to print out the answer c plus n into x and our answer but now there is another problem there is two there are two edge cases for this problem one edge case is let's suppose n given over here is 12 and k is less than that so what do you think is uh, seventh non divisible by 12th value that would be 7 itself right because 7 itself is less than 12 that cannot be obviously divisible by 12 so that's why if ever k is less than uh, n then we will directly return k so this goes one edge case another edge case now let, let's just quickly go through the la last edge case of this problem now if for the next edge case over here where k is 12 and n is 4 we notice one one thing over here uh, i have similarly written down these things and we are going through this formula once again for this example so we are taking the floor value by dividing it with n by ns1 we are getting 4 so 4 into 3 is 12 and we are calculating c value which is getting 0 so this is the interesting part so if we use this formula over here n into x plus c we are getting 16 itself but 16 is divisible by 4 so how can how can we get the answer from this so here one edge case is if the k value is divisible by the n value this may happen that your c becoming zero so that time what we have to do is we have to take the n into x minus one value so n into x over here is 16 the our answer then would be this 15 so this was the last edge case so let's go through how the code looks over here so i have submitted it so let's go through my submission so here also you can see that in the problem tag they are saying binary search and math so i have also said that binary search can be done but uh, that would be a bit slower than our solution so let's go through my submission uh, okay let it load first so it is loaded now so this is a very simple code so as i have explained the logic we are we are doing the same exact thing over here so we are taking the inputs then checking if k is less than n we are directly printing a, a k then x y c these values i have already explained what these are and we are checking if c is equals to equals to zero as uh, i have discussed for these conditions where k is divisible by n so that case is n into x minus one would be our answer or else c plus n into x our usual formula which we have said so as we can see that it got accepted in the con contest so this is how we have to solve this problem so thank you for watching so hope you subscribe and uh, let's see in the next video goodbye